It's the NFL on EA Sports. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Niners and the Saints. And it comes your way next on Madden NFL 24. From a city that's played host to 10 Super Bowls, here's a look inside the Superdome in New Orleans. Today, we've got an intriguing NFC matchup lined up here as it'll be the San Francisco 49ers taking on the New Orleans Saints. Alongside my broadcast partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and as we look at this matchup, Every time there's something different to focus on. So I'll just ask you, what do you see here in this one? Well, Rembrandt, you've given me a pretty blank canvas to focus on, haven't you? Yeah. Where do you think I'm going to go with this? Oh, secondary? You know me. <laughs> you know me well, right? In a game like this, it's always about the secondary. Can they handle the passing attack and make a few plays? and shouldering the expectations on game day, even if he doesn't quite have the years of experience other quarterbacks do. This is Samuel. And he's able to break out a one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Only a couple for him there on the game's first play, and it's second down. Some teams like to start aggressive to begin a drive, but this is still what you expect to see in normal situations. Just call a simple run, get a few yards to begin the series, and set yourself up for something bigger on second down. First carry for Christian McCaffrey. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That good for 19 at a first down. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run. And let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down. Otherwise, it's going to be a long afternoon. Back to the ground on first. It's McCaffrey. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. It went right back to him, but he pretty much had nowhere to go on that play. Yeah, the previous carry looked pretty good. That one, maybe he was a little tired. I don't know. Yeah, maybe he should have tapped out and had a second back come in and maybe make that run. Who knows? Here's a second and eight. Again, they run. Again, it's McCaffrey. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. A yard in the wrong direction makes third down tougher. Third down and nine. That was well defense right there. He saw the play in front of him and able to hold the point of attack. Then he sheds it and goes and makes a tackle for a loss. Well, come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. Purdy with it on third and long. Work in the middle of the field and he's got a man complete. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 44-yard line. So after several rushes to start the game, Charles, they go to the air there and get a nice completion. Nice mix-up on the play calling, right? Establish the running game, make the defense think you're going to do it again, and then hit them over the top. Now you've got them betwixt and between. They don't know which way you're going to come at them. On first down, this is McCaffrey. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. Second down and eight. 
Purdy will set up to throw it here. That's complete. It's Brandon Ayuk. Well, that'll get him the first down as they get nine yards out of that quick slant. we got to like what you're seeing from this offense here on the first drive. A nice, sustained series to begin the game, and it will continue after picking up another first there. Would you say the word methodical comes to mind? I love the execution. I love what they're doing on this drive. They're controlling the ball, controlling the game, controlling the clock. Gets this one to use check. Touchdown! Check. 33 yards. And the 49ers will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. Quite the drive there to get things started. They took up the bulk of the first quarter, and they end up in the end zone. And I love your last point. Ended up in the end zone. Because a lot of teams like those long drives, especially to keep their offense off the field, right? Keep the ball away from them but they finished it with a touchdown. That's the exclamation point. Now flip it over defensively. They've got to slow that down somehow, right? Maybe they need to be a little more aggressive, maybe a few more pressures towards the quarterback. So following the touchdown, here's Moody back out to send it away. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. And here come the Saints for their opening drive. They're led out by their quarterback out of Fresno State. Derek Carr. It's been fun to watch his development through the years, and right now what you see is a very confident quarterback who has a strong sense of self, totally understands the offense, and knows how to get the ball to his playmakers on the run. Carr going to lead the Saints up here first and 10 at their own 23. They begin on the ground with Kamara, and not much there. Maybe a yard up to the 24. Brandon, to me, what's important right here on this drive is for them to get at least two first downs. They've got to give their defense a chance to settle down, catch their breath a little bit after they give up a touchdown on the opening drive. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Ready for the second quarter from New Orleans. It's the Saints in possession. Now second and nine. As they've got it as we resume action. They'll send a receiver in motion left. Second down and it's Kamara again. Only gets three yards there on the heels of the one yard pickup. Sets up third and six. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Throwing his car on third down. A throw on the run, but that's going to be incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early, and now it's fourth down. Yeah, that's a nice job there defensively to blank of those receivers on third down. And as a quarterback, all you can do is just loft one toward the bench, not too close, mind you, and live to punt the football. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. This is taken at the 23. It's a net of 40 there, a punt of 48, and a return of eight. And the Niners will go on offense, first and 10. Back out there comes the 49ers offense, ready for their second drive. And they'll be looking to make this a two-score advantage, had the touchdown on their first drive, Charles. Hey, they can get up two scores here on the road. That's a heck of a start. And not only have they thought about it, I wonder if they visualized it. I remember playing, and they used to turn the lights out in our meeting room and run through a situation like this and say, just think about what it would be like to be up on the road and take the crowd out of it. Maybe they did some of that. Now on first down, it's Purdy. 
That ball caught. Brandon Ayuk. A big play there for the Niners. 45 yards. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and ten. The throwing here, Purdy. That's caught by Werner, the tight end. So eight yards on the completion there, and it'll be second in a couple. That's a staple of this offense, drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. On second down, McCaffrey. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. Seven yards on the pickup there, and now they've got it first and goal. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. So three plays already first and goal, and they are wasting little time. Purdy now to throw. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. You can't be precise with your throws, especially in this situation. You're inside the 10-yard line going into the end zone. But sometimes the emotion, the excitement, sometimes the decisions just aren't made very well because of that. Another shot from the nine on second and goal. Now Purdy. Looking for the out route. He's got it. Complete to Kittle. The catch good for six yards, but now it's third and goal. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. They've been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. Purdy looking to throw. This is caught. Touchdown 49ers. Christian McCaffrey from three yards out. And the Niners go up by two touchdowns. Well, this has been a flawless start for them. They score, they get the stop, and they score again, Charles. Complimentary football at its finest. You just mentioned how they got it done. They scored. The defense got the ball back for them. They score again. That's the way you win ball games. Now Moody for the PAT. And it's good to make it 14-0. A drive that time of six plays. And it's finished off by a receiving touchdown from Christian McCaffrey. So after the made field goal by Moody, he's back out to kick this one away. From his end zone, here's Rashid Shaheed. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. New Orleans Saints, they get ready to set up shop for their second drive. But Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to locker room just a little more animated. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Car now on first down. 
And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. It came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. He'll drop to throw. A throw left sideline falls incomplete. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because they had incompletions on first and second down. Now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. But if you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. The threat of a second straight punt to start the game is looming as they come up third and ten. And it is caught. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers 35. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. Yeah, these are the types of plays they're going to need to hit on if they're going to get back into this game. It hasn't been the greatest of first halves, but this is a nice throw here on third down, and they keep the drive going. Again, it's Carr. Going right back to Michael Thomas. Now we'll get a quick timeout called by New Orleans, number two, as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. Carr now on first down. And that one to the right side and incomplete. So it looks like they stopped some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But this defense gets two more stops. They can keep them out of that area. Second and ten. Here's Carr to throw. And that'll be incomplete with just six seconds left on the clock. Nice back-to-back -back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. So on third down, the field goal unit will come out as they'll try to get three before half. From the right hash, it's a 38-yard attempt. And his kick is good. And they will get themselves on the board here at 14 to 3. Now maybe a moral victory of sorts. They're on the board here late in the first half, but this offense just hasn't looked that sharp. Yeah, but at least they got the three points, right? At least they have something to quote unquote hang their hats on and maybe feel a little bit better about themselves as they head to the half. So with three seconds remaining in the half, they will line up to kick this one away. Oh, a good looking return set up here. So we have reached halftime here with the visiting 49ers on top. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. All right, Brandon, back to you too in just a bit. But first, welcome everyone to downtown Orlando and our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Coach, thank you. And we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. for the second half 14 to 3 yard score as we are back underway on EA Sports taken at the goal line 
And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. And the Saints going to take over on offense to begin this third quarter. And right out of the gate, they face what you think could be a pretty important drive. I would say so. You know, they're down two scores. That's not the end of the world. It wasn't the strongest of first halves, but for them to start clawing back, they've got to start putting a little pressure on that defense, start cutting into this deficit. You can't have three and outs and expect to get that done. They start the second half with Camaro. And yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Good yardage there on first down, exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs, keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here's second and a yard from the 34. Again, it's Kamara. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Well, they still have time to get them established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Card out of throw. That is hauled in by Michael Thomas. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. And that might be exactly what they needed to wake up this home crowd. They haven't given them much to cheer for so far. And never underestimate the effect the home crowd with you can have on a game. So now then, the big play has them all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Here's Carr. He's going to take a shot for the end zone. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, there's not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. Glad to be in the great city of New Orleans, rolling along here in the third quarter, second and 10. Now Carr. Thomas brings it in. And out of bounds, all the way down at the three. A good pick up there, 26 yards. Boy, how about the speed with which this offense can get down the field? It's taking them no time at all to get down here. And now they're set up with a first and goal. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Camara will score. Touchdown, New Orleans. No touchdowns for them in the first half, but their defense kept them in this ball game. So now, maybe this could loosen them up a little because they played tight so far, and they get right back in it with a touchdown run. Dennis Allen going to go for two here. He's leaving his offense out on the field. And they'll turn to Kamara. And he got it on the touchdown run, but he won't get in here. He'll be stopped short, and they'll come up empty on the try for two. Defensively, certainly not fooled there. Play started at the two, and he was tackled at the two. That has to feel good for them. Not happy about having given up the touchdown, but stopping the two-point conversion gives them a little bit of a lift as they head to the bench. After the touchdown, here's Groupie to kick this one away. Taking it about the one. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. Here's a look at the 49ers offense as they make their way out for their first possession of the second half. And maybe some renewed pressure on this unit following the touchdown a moment ago. It's back to a one-score game. And because of that pressure, because it's now a one-score game, 
they know this is where you need to slow the momentum change because otherwise that could overrun your team. You've got to be careful right here. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Oh, there's plenty of traffic waiting for him up the middle. But give him credit, he tried barreling through anyway. They're fortunate to get a yard out of that one. They work now on second and nine. They stay on the ground. McCaffrey again. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. Third and two. They'll try and pick it up with McCaffrey. And he will have the first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. 43 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. I don't know about you, but that almost felt like old-time football there. Third and two is not necessarily just a running down anymore. A lot of times they want to throw the ball. They went back to the roots and powered forward and got the first down. Up the gut, McCaffrey. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. And when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. Purdy bootlegging it. Pass to Ayuk, and he's got him on the comeback route. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. 15 for the Niners there and a first down. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. Back now here live in New Orleans. It's 49er football here. They've got the lead as well as we get set to start the fourth and final quarter. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it will bring up a second and nine. A big part of a middle linebacker's job is being able to take on blocks and then go make plays. But the best ones, they have those big guys in front of them playing defensive line that hold blockers off of them and allow them to flow sideline to sideline and make the big hits. Birdie. Over the middle, complete to Samuel. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 29-yard line. Give them 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. Purdy looking to throw on first down here. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Jennings. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. And these guys certainly are not hiding what their intention is. They're absolutely showing it. They're definitely not going to sit on this lead here in the fourth quarter. They're not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Oh, and they sent the man in motion too late. This is going to be a delay. Delay of game, offense. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. Still first down. So a little bit of a stiffer challenge now. First and 15 following the delay of game. Here's Purdy. This is Jennings.
And this will probably be the final play before the two-minute warning. Purdy now on second down. Got a man right side. It's McCaffrey. And he will be out of bounds after a nice pickup. And that will also lead First us foul. to the two-minute warning. So give them the yardage on the pass and half the distance to the goal line. Because they're inside the 30. So now you don't march off the full 15, right? You have half the distance to the goal. In any event, that's precious real estate given up. So the face mask moves him closer. And now first and goal. Oh, how about this call down near the goal line? So fresh out of the two-minute warning. And here's another timeout taken with 1.55 remaining. to imagine this will be on the ground as well as they come up second and seven. Now Samuel. And he's brought down right at the five-yard line. Give him two on the play. Now we'll get a quick timeout called by New Orleans, number two. That'll leave him with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. Purdy will set up to throw it here. Touchdown! Christian McCaffrey with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the 49ers get an important score there to extend their lead here in this fourth quarter. Well, that was absolutely ideal for them, wasn't it? Trying to salt this game away. I think one of my kids just graduated in the amount of time they had the football. That was absolutely impressive. Everybody wants those salt away the game drives. What makes them successful? Well, when you're able to mix run pass, when you're able to control the football and stay ahead of the chains, I'm using every cliche I know, <laughs> but that's how you get it done because you're not taking negative plays, and that way you're able to run what you want to run when you get a chance to call it. So here's Moody back out there now to send this one away. On the return, here's Rashid Shaheed. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. So time for Carr and the Saints. Down by 12. Just over a minute, 40 to play. It's been a struggle to score all day, and now they need to do it twice here late to have a chance. Here's Carr. He's got his target. It's Alave. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Well, they're not going to go quietly. That's a big play right there. Two scores down. They're not out of this, but they've got to move. One timeout at their disposal, but more pressing is the need for two scores, obviously. Here's first and ten. The throw over the middle, taken in. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. That connection seemed to work out okay on the first play of the drive. Why not go right back to it? And once again, this defense is left without an answer as they surrender back-to-back -back first downs. This is first and 10. Carr. And this is caught for a touchdown. So hang on now. Things just got a little bit more interesting here in the final minute. Okay, game on. Don't go anywhere yet. You got a one-score game now. Probably going to rely on the onside kick coming up. Yeah, they have to. It's not a high percentage play, but it's better than not having a chance at all. And that's when you put your leapers and your flyers on one side, get that high hop and hope that one of the guys can come up with it. And on the other side, get that hands team ready. No doubt about it. 
A point after, good by Groupie. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. So a little under 50 seconds to go. Plenty of time if they can get this onside kick. And this is going to be recovered by the hand team. And that should just about put a camper on this one. The fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of a anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. Down to a knee for the 49ers. This one about to be on ice. Now the Saints will use their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 45 seconds left to go in the game. And they'll indeed take a knee. had here not only a close game that went down to the wire Charles but a clean one too no turnovers in this contest and I think you're exactly right about that to me this is just a pair of offenses trying to find the slightest bit of separation from each other and they were both hoping that the other side would make the big mistake first but today neither side made that mistake and what we